Cartoon Network just greenlit two original series for both the channel and HBO Max. This is looking pretty good. Hey everybody, what is going on? Welcome to Regular Josh 1. Before we get started, make sure to hit that like button in this video, and if you're new, subscribe. Also, ladies and gentlemen, yes, this took a while, but now episode 3 of Duel Academy is finally released on YouTube, so go ahead and check that out. Hope you guys enjoy. Man, it has been a while since I've talked about Cartoon Network on this channel. I did have some plans to make some videos discussing some things about them earlier, but obviously I had some other things that caught my eye. Truth be told, not a lot was really happening with the network. Yeah, the Warner Brothers Discovery merger was finalized, and I'm certainly curious as to what this means for Cartoon Network moving forward. They do have an upfront plan for May 18th, so hopefully this means that we will get some Cartoon Network news from this as well. However, we do still have some things to discuss right now, like Cartoon Network greenlighting two new projects. They look fairly different from what we currently have on the channel itself, so this is pretty exciting. The first one being a feature-length film called Driftwood. It revolves around a tiny mouse-like creature who races to find a city that discovered a safe and sustainable fuel source, all while trying to avoid an evil overlord. Now, I can't be the only one that thought that this was a rabbit, right? No? J j just me? This movie is currently in production and is being directed by Victor Courtright. You may have seen his work as he co-produced Aquaman, King of Atlantis, and the very well clearly not hated and obviously deserved second season show, Thundercats Roar. Seriously guys, that show deserved a goddamn Emmy, okay? <laughs> Driftwood will be Cartoon Network Studios' first feature for HBO Max. It certainly looks interesting and very different from the two other shows he's worked on. I'm curious to see more from this movie. Hopefully it's good. The second project that was also greenlit is a half-hour action comedy series called Invincible Fight Girl, where in the show, everyone is a wrestler. It's their way of life, and our main girl aspires to be the greatest pro wrestler of all time. A world where everyone is a wrestler, I can, <laughs> I can only imagine what that must be like. I mean, I bet they can't even have tables in their town because we all know those will not survive. It's a pretty funny concept throughout, and I'm wondering wondering how they're gonna actually pull it off. Now, this show is certainly different from any current Cartoon Network show because when was the last time we had a show that was half an hour long? Practically all of them today are only 11 minutes and it's been like that for a while. Seeing a show with a longer format is a little surprising, but certainly welcomed. Also, it is nice to see that action shows are beginning to make a comeback to Cartoon Network since it's been a long time since we've had one. It was announced a while back that we were gonna start seeing some more, so it's nice to see that we have a couple slated to come to Cartoon Network. Now, this news came as Sam Register, the president of Cartoon Network, talked about what his plans are for the network moving forward. He wants them to become a place where creators can thrive. They want to start bringing us some more original content. One of the ways that they're doing that is by starting up a partnership with Outlook Company, where they're launching a content discovery initiative to discover new emerging talent, mainly from underrepresented creators. This is very cool because along with Cartoon Cartoons and their current list of animated shorts being created, it'll be very interesting to see what kind of shows we can possibly get in the future from these new creators. See, this is news that's making me very happy because it seems like Cartoon Network is wanting to embrace new talent and seemingly give them the freedom to tell stories they want to tell. Trust me, after the animation news that we've been getting from a certain platform, this is really refreshing. Plus, unlike a certain platform, Cartoon Network knows how to categorize a show with both action and comedy. It's almost as if it wasn't that hard to do, and someone looks incredibly stupid for canceling the show because they apparently don't know that action comedy shows exist, and we all know that was a BS reason as to why they canceled an upcoming project. <sighs> <sighs> Sorry, um, got heated there for a second. Regardless, I am liking the direction that Cartoon Network is going in right now. I know that the changes certainly do seem kind of slow right now since there was a lot that they announced last year that hasn't still quite arrived yet and we still don't have a freaking second season of Mau Mau even though it was renewed for a second season. Where is my second season, Cartoon Network? 
Either way, things are seemingly beginning to look up for the channel. I know that these two projects I talked about will most likely not premiere until late 2023, and who knows, it could be earlier than that, but I'm still looking forward to them. It's going to be a welcome addition to both Cartoon Network and HBO Max. Now, what do you guys think of the two new projects announced from Cartoon Network? Are you excited for them? Let me know in the comments below. Also, before I end this video, if you guys voted on my last community post about the song that I wrote, I do plan on posting said song sometime this week hopefully by the weekend. Honestly, I'm very surprised that many of you actually wanted to hear it. I really, really do appreciate that as this is my first ever song that I wrote. So look out for that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe for more content, and hit the bell to be notified of my next video. Thank you guys so much for watching and remember, you're hearing it from a regular bunny in a regular world. See you next time.